in black is a concept that's been in the UFO field since really the beginning of the UFO field, essentially. What is the true mission of the men in black? Is it the suppression of information regarding UFOs and extraterrestrials? Elmer K. Bender founded the International Flying Saucer Bureau in 1952 during the big UFO flap. Now, these figures were very dark in nature. They were wearing hats, almost like a fedora style, and they had glowing eyes. Yeah, it, it all seems uh, pretty horrible, especially if they uh, uh, threaten you or threaten your family, and, uh, and you're not sure if they're from another planet or not. What Jacobs said in the aftermath of that was that he was subject to a range of harassment type of activities. Some of these things would include uh, threatening phone calls at all times of the day, and um, even to vandalism against his property, property damage. There is no more exciting story that I could write or aviation we could publish than to say, at last, we've come across one UFO report that cannot be explained in prosaic terms. Maybe this is an alien spaceship. Biggest story of all time. Of these objects, and that's why the response could be as fast as it was to the, to Westall. Um, that's why the military could get there as quickly as they did that day, because there were some if you like, forewarning in the suburb of Baldwin, about 20 kilometers from Westall, just four days before the Westall incident. Take Richard Doty, former special agent of the Air Force who was tasked with infiltrating the UFO community to instill doubt and misinformation of UFO encounters. Men in Black have always been present in the UFO community since you know, back in the 50s and 60s. This story follows an age-old pattern of a prominent Men in Black cover-up. A UFO incident occurs. Experiencers witness something that shouldn't exist in our conventionally understood reality. 